Oh yeah, I love having to redo an entire trial over and over again in Phoenix Wright just because the sound was eclipsing my voice and I don't feel like editing over it. Love that. Also, in shot, if you're listening to this, there should be like some type of way to turn down just the sound in the background. You know, like like the game without making me a mute. That'd be nice. Anyway, let's do this. It's probably going to lag again. <laughs> Damn it. I... I... I just wanted your jewelry. No. Damn it. Why me? I... I can't get called for this shit. Not again. I... I gotta think of something. I gotta find someone. Yes. A black man. Him. A, a... A man like him will definitely go to jail. A big black man. Yes. So... So basically you're telling me that my job is to just give the time and date and location. And you pay me just three dollars to do this. Oh, wait. <clears throat> August 3rd, 9... 40, 9.47 a.m. District Court. Defending. Defendant Lobby. T number two. Can I have my money now? Boy, am I nervous after eating that crack sandwich. Right. Oh, hey, ch Chief Big Personality. Right. How many times have I told you? Not to eat crack sandwiches, bitch. Also, which voice am I? Like, like, can you tell if I'm French or Russian? Because I'm pretty sure the voice actor can't. He's stupid as fuck. You can tell. Um, I don't really know what you said right there, but thanks. I'm zoning in and out of consciousness. A actually, I'm barely lucid. And I kinda owe the, defend the person I'm defending a favor. What? Right, that's highly illegal, you know that, right? Yes! <laughs> Actually, I know it's incredibly illegal for me to know the person I'm defending, and if they're too close to- and if I'm too close to the case, but I have a feeling I'll be doing a lot of that. <laughs> so, it's gonna be a good- it's gonna be a good, uh, a, a, a good, uh, court case. Oh, interesting, you say. Yeah, fairly interesting. Why? But why you ask? By 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 the way, after this, do you want to just go out and get 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 some alcohol or something? It's over. My whole life is fucking over. Right. I do believe that that's the poor fucker you were talking about before. Yeah, I used to eat paint chips with him in high school. Oh, how long I. How long have I been in here? I need some water. I'm dying. Despair. Oh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking die. Right. You hear him crying out in despair? A good friend would go help him. Yeah, but uh, a good friend would. And I hope, a f I hope a friend of his does come over there to help him. He's not coming over here, is he? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hey there, Larry! Oh my god, that's actually what it says. <laughs> I wasn't reading it! <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking guilty. Tell him I'm guilty, I deserve the electric chair. Give me the death sentence, I ain't afraid to die. I ate a whole bunch of crack on the way here anyway. Shut the fuck up, what's wrong with you, Larry? I'm your lawyer. Wait, wait, let me look, let me look at your court case. Oh. Yeah, he might want the death belt. Nick, listen, 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 listen. I have a gun in my back pocket. Just, just distract them long enough. They're not going to get old Larry Butts. He has a gun in his pocket. Beat his ass. No, my knees. No. <laughs> right, they broke my knees. 
Now I, now I have no knees, and I have no woman. I can't live in this world without her. I can't. Who, who took my baby away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Um, uh, oh, shit, I don't need this shit right now. I'm coming the fuck down. And his sad puppy dog star eyes aren't helping me. I stare into those eyes and I see the face of God. And all of us, I have to help him. Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers said it was you. You don't believe newspapers are your best friend, right? Right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you are so getting prisoned. <laughs> Wait, you mean imprisoned, right? No. No, no. I mean, we're gonna send you to the cubes. What, what, what do you mean? We're in the year 978. We don't, we don't believe in prisons anymore. We have prison dimensions. You'll be alone forever in a cube, tortured for 30 billion years, and your sorrow and pain will be used to fuel society. Just give me the death penalty. No, 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 no. We don't believe in that anymore. Uh, the whole world agreed that death was too strict and life wasn't strict enough, so we have eternity. Yeah, so you can theoretically serve an eternal life sentence. That's pretty fucked up, right? That's pretty fucked up. I'm aware. By the way, in case you didn't know, my name is Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright. I'm writing a story about my life. It's going to be interesting. Here it is. Uh, my first case, and it's a fairly simple one. My friend is a fucking murderer. No, I'm not right. Yeah, 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 he killed a woman, she'd spill some tomato soup on her floor, and the fact is, I'm way too high to deal with any of this. So, am I going to be able to bullshit my way through this case? Let's find out. Larry. You'd be, you, you've been my friend since grade, since, since grade school. You've been, we've been friends forever. You gotta be honest with me. Was it you? Our school had a saying. If something smell, when something smells, it's usually the butts. And unfortunately, that name was just like shit, and it stuck to him. And it's been 23 years that I've known this man. 23 years of my life that I will never get back. 23 years of my life that I will always regret. 23 years I've been staring at his eyes, and I wish that he never looked at me. You're kidding, right, right? He has a knack for getting himself into trouble, always has. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has trouble, and he just has trouble trusting people and being with people and being around people and having people be around him and having people want to be around him and also not being a piece of shit and also not being really fucking annoying and he also has terrible luck right you just said i was a terrible person exactly but you're not a terrible person what but i know but i know better than anyone that's that, that he's a good guy at heart Right, please, I have the heart of a child. Oh, oh, yeah, I know, I know, pal, I know, pal. I actually have five. Wait, what? This isn't about the children I murdered? Wait, what? You need to run that by me again. What the fuck did- What? Would you like a- Would you like a, ch a child's heart? I have thousands of them underneath my apartment. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? And that's just what I'm going to find out. Oh god, we can't let anybody know about that. Holy shit, he has children's hearts in a jar? I want one. I mean, August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court. Courtroom number two. S Silence! Why are all these floating heads near me? Why are all these floating heads near me? Exactly what I want to know, Your Honor. Mr. Peeny Weenie, Mr. Peeny Weenie, I see. Uh, I mean, 
the um, defendant is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. I didn't know his name was Mr. Peeny Weeny. That's news to me. Exactly, Your Honor. He's been called Mr. Peeny Weeny since college. Oh, well then, Mr. Peeny Weeny, how do you how how do you state your case? We need to know because this is a murder case. Also, does my beard look good? Extravagant, Your Honor. Let's get going. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, very much. Also, I'm your uncle. Don't forget that. You're my what? <laughs> You're not the uncle that used to do bad things to me. Are you? Oh god, I'm remembering. No, that was the other one. We had him sent to the cubes 30 years ago. He was also my uncle. Uh, I'm supposed to be defending butts, right, Your Honor? Yes. Congrats on not being a fuck-up. Like the rest of us. Now, right. Let's get this court undergoing, shall we? <laughs> court undergoing? But I thought we were just gonna fuck around a bit. Rub my chin for a bit. Wait, what was I doing? Oh fuck, the drugs! They're kicking it. No, no way. I forgot everything I was doing. I'm drawing a blank, a total blank. I'm fucked. Right, remember. Uh, remember. Wait, are you gonna tell me something, or are you just gonna keep shouting "remember" at me? Wait, holy shit, it's actually working. See, all I have to do is say "remember." I get paid for nothing! Also, pretty soon I'm going to be killed. Just remember, hit tab. And fuck up this piece of shit that's coming up soon. Enough, enough deliberating on shit that hasn't happened yet. Uh, This seems like a female name. Uh, blah 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 blee blee. Correct. Exactly the words I wanted to hear. Now, what are we here for again? What was she killed with? Uh, she was struck once by a blunt object, I believe, Your Honor. True and correct. Your, you've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Also, if you fuck up one more time, if you fuck up a few times, actually, uh, because you're my, because because I'm your uncle, I'll give you several chances. If you fuck up enough, I will send you to the fucking cubes. You will be sent to the torture dimension. Do you hear me? You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. It seems like the crack sandwich is out of your system. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh God, he knows about the crack sandwich. I don't feel relaxed at all. That's that's for sure. If he knows about it, he's going to definitely send me back to that self-help place. Exactly. You're going back after this court case. I hope you know that. Now, Mr. Peeny Weenie? Could you please not call me that, Your Honor? I feel like I'm being bullied. You are. And as for you, Mr. Wright, just tell us the victim... And as for Mr. Wright, just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? Because I sure as fuck don't remember. It was, you see this fucking picture right here? This is art. None of you fucking Philistines know what the fuck it is. Look at you. You're fucking stupid. And as for the talking heads up there that no one ever sees, no one gives a fuck about that. The murder weapon was a piece of fucking art. Murder weapon was this. As you can see, I'm touching it. It's fucking with the fucking fingerprints on it. Did anybody even bother to fingerprint this? Anyone? Anyone at all? Statue of the thinker. Goodbye. Fuck you. My glasses are pushed up. I can't see shit. It was found lying on the floor next to the fucking victim. It's obviously the murder weapon. It's covered in her fucking tomato soup blood, bitch. Did you just call me a bitch? Oh, I see. The court accepts it into the evidence. What is this shit over my face? I can't breathe. Right, he almost suffocated. If we keep throwing shit at him, he'll eventually die. It will win the case, right? That evidence is the only illumination you have in this case. The only ammunition you have in this case. Sorry, I'm partially illiterate. And not not read well. Use tab to check the court records. I hit my hammer on the desk. Now, Mr. Peeny Weenie, would you... Now, Mr. Peeny Weenie, the prosecution, 
may call its first witness. Exactly what I was planning to do. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Harry Butts. It's Larry Butts! Did I ask, bitch, to the stand? Um, Chief, what do I do now? You're panicking again. Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get you'll get a chance to respond to the to the prosecution later. So be ready. Let's hope he doesn't say anything stupidly unfortunate, okay? Uh oh, Larry is a fucking idiot. He gets excited too easily. He's like a fucking chihuahua. He's scared of everything. He's gonna start talking dumb shit and that's gonna dig a deeper hole for me as his lawyer. And if I fail this case, everybody will fucking think I'm a loser and I'll be sent to the cubes for a couple of months. My time, but God knows how long I'll be in there. And by the time I get out, everyone I know will be gone. This could be bad. Ahem. Oh my god, are you... Are, are you supposed to be a hipster? At your age, Mr. Butts? Surprising. Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, asshole! Watch it, buddy! We weren't great together. We were great together. But you just said we weren't. Shut the fuck up! We were Romeo and Juliet, but, uh, but they both died. Shut the fuck up! Cop and Mark Mark Yalio. <laughs> Didn't they all die at the end? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't talking. She just wasn't taking my phone. My phone calls. Or my letters. Or my telegrams. Or my chocolate. Or my diamonds. I almost broke character. I broke character. I'm sorry. Or my diamonds. Or my buildings. Or... <laughs> or my... Or, or my messages on the TV. Or my sky writings. Or the several people I sent over to her building to check on her. Wait, when did you send these people over to her building? Just yesterday. Why? Also, I was at the store buying her chocolate. At... At what time? Well, I was there till two. Oh my god. Wait. That... That means it can't be you. I have a problem with time. Okay, it still can be him. Or seeing me, even. What? What's it to you, anyway? You see, I'm supposed to be prying into your life. I'm sorry. But, uh, you're on a trial, you know. Everything that you've done is now up for uh, pers uh, public scrutiny. Mr. Butts, what... What you described is the general description of <clears throat> what we mean by dumping. In fact, I should know. I've been dumped 132,999,952 billion times. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. <clears throat> In fact, the general the, the thing I'm about to describe is is uh, sh she she had sugar daddies. She had just returned from overseeing with one, overseeing with one of them, the other day, and before that day, she was murdered. Wh what do you mean, one of them? Lies, lies and forgery, all of it, lies, I can't believe a word of it, you lying piece of shit. Ahem, <laughs> your honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was a little uh, bit uh, hot in the biscuit for some people in Paris until the day before she died. This will be added to your bullshit to throw at me later on. Please don't waste too much of my time. I wish to get out of here before before 10.30. The darker it gets, the more depressed I get, and the more I wish to crash my car. Mm, indeed. I see why you would get depressed. Just look at you. Indeed, she was, apparently, she was appearing to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! 
Yes, the victim was a model. Oh. How the fuck did you even think you could stand a chance with her? She's even beautiful when she's in the morgue! But did you not ha but did you not have a large but did not have a large income? It appears that she had several sugar daddies, or sugar daddy, as we might put it, plural for more than one of them. She had more than one sugar daddy, sugar daddy? I don't even know what that means, dude. I can't count past three how many did she have. Tw Twenty. Oh my god. I can see you're sweating like a steamed vegetable, but the rest of it gets worse. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts for favors. <laughs> he said, rubbing his fingers together for favors. She took their money and used it to support her own lifestyle. Yes, your girl, your ex-girlfriend was a Twitch streaming e-girl. Dude! We could clearly see that... We could clearly see what kind of woman that Miss Stone was. A very promiscuous one at that. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? <laughs> right. There's about to be a shooting if you're not careful. I don't think you want him to answer that question right now. Yeah, Larry is really under pressure right now. Larry has a way of words running out of his mouth like diarrhea after eating Chipotle, and they all go in the wrong direction. Should I... what should I do? What should I do? Uh, stop him from answering? Well, if I stop him from answering, it's gonna be like me badgering the witness, and I already know him. That could be bad. If I try to stop him from answering, you know what? I'll use my psychic powers. My client has no i. My client has no idea. The my client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. Thereby, he he is criminally stupid. There, that question is invalid to that to this case. What? That that makes no sense. And more importantly, why are you pointing at me with such authority? It's scary. Please. The kids back in school used to point at me, too. They glued these glasses on my face. They called me... They called me Eternal Four Eyes, please. Dude, Nick! What do you mean? Infidelity. That cheating. That's cheating, she-dog. That cheating, she-dog. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna fucking die! I'm just gonna fucking drop dead! Yeah, and when I meet her in hell, in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this shit! I curse all of you! Mm, enough talking about the afterlife, it's making me depressed. I'm close to that time. I'm close to there. I can already see my uncle. No. No, please don't. Pl please don't shave my head. It won't grow back. Please. Please. What do you mean you can sell it for drugs? Please, uncle. Please, no. And you know what? My hair never did grow back. Let's continue the trial, shall we? Yes, uh, that's for the best. I believe the accusations motivated... I believe the active motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh, oh boy. This is not... This is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's house. I mean, apartment, on the day of the murder, did you not, Mr. Butts? <laughs> did, what did you swallow? Nothing. Was that cyanide? Cops! Punch, punch him in the gut! <laughs> Please! It wasn't cyanide! It was... It was a pill that caught my nerves! Wait, is... Is that... Is that Vicodin? Yeah, I have a prescription for it. I sincerely doubt that. Please, man. So we're adding drugs, and possible, po possible hoarding of them. And man, I don't usually take them. I'm just a dealer. And drug dealing to your offenses, as well as murder. Ooh, that's at least a couple more eons in the cubes for you. 
well, did you or did you not go to her apartment that night? <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And maybe I did. <laughs> What's it to you? Oh my god, just keep digging yourself a deeper hole. Just kill me now. Just kill me now. Why do I have to have a friend like him? Have him answer. Stop him from answering. Okay, I'll use my psychic link, my Sigma male signal. I'll send it to him. Hmm. Lie your ass off like a dog. <laughs> well, well, you see, it's kind of like I don't remember. You don't recall, huh? How interesting. I'm so interested that I barely want to look at you with my glasses. Well, then, we'll just have to <laughs> remind you, won't we? I got a bad feeling about all this. <laughs> the witness we have... We, we have a witness, you see. Wait, you have a what? I would also like to know what? That that can prove that you did go to that apartment, to the victim's apartment on that day, and that you are most definitely the murderer. Oh, we have a witness? I didn't know about that. Well, that, simp well, that simplifies the matter. Who is this witness? And also, did they bring me fried chicken? I'm hungry. No, Your Honor. Why the fuck would they bring you fried chicken? The longer I stay in here, I can literally feel the IQ drop in the room. The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw Mr. Butts, the defendant, fleeing the fucking scene like a rat fleeing a sinking ship. Oh, grumble, 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 grumble. I didn't know that. Hammer, hammer, hammer. I threw my hammer on the ground. Twice I hit it on the desk. Order, order in the court. I'll have fried chicken. I mean, I'm hungry. I mean, Mr. Peeny Weenie. The prosecution may call its witness, and they better have fried chicken. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. I am sorry. I, I beg you, don't send me to the cubes for being not very good at what I do. No. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> this is bad. What type of witness could he have? Well, on the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the time at the victim's building. Wait. Doesn't that give him a motive as well? To kill... To, to have killed somebody? No! Why would he have a motive? He is a random newspaper salesman. Wait. Which would give him the opportunity to come and go as he pleased. And would also put him there before Butts would have gone there. I might have picked the wrong side. <clears throat> But regardless, I'm going to stand my ground like every other man who has worn glasses in court and prove that my client is innocent and white. <laughs> Please bring Mr. Freak Shitter to the stand. That's his name now, Mr. Freak Shitter. Mr. Freak for sure. Mr. Shit... Shit... Shitty. You sell newspapers... You sell newspaper subscriptions, is that correct? Yeah, oh yes! I... I do! Newspapers, yes! That... that... that, that that's your voice. That, that's your voice right there. That... 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 that, that that's legit your voice. Well, Mr. Shitte, you, uh... You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh, I intend to. Oh, I already hate his voice. Me too. <laughs> Witness. Witnesses account. I was doing door to door. I was going door to door. Selling newspapers. Well, people who didn't buy my newspapers, I took a shit on their porch. Wait, that's you? I mean, not really. Possibly. Maybe so. I stepped on your shit today, you piece of shit. When I saw a man fleeing, a, fleeing an apartment, I thought he was... I thought it must be... He must be in a hurry, because he was fleeing, and he wasn't... Now that I look at him, he's not as black as I thought he would be. He left the door half open behind him. 
thinking it's strange. I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. That is the general description of dead, but go on. I I, I quaked in fear in front of... In, 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 in fear and found myself unable to move or go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. Immediately? Immediately. Right now? Yes, right now. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to I went to the nearby parking lot, where I then took a shit as I walked down the street, because I was angry at that street, because my uncle got run over there, and I found a public phone, so I called on the public phone just like the poor do. And I remember it exactly. It was 1 p.m. on the dot. Point period. Yes, point period indeed. The man who ran was definitely, no doubt, the man sitting in that chair. I can smell him. I can see him. He's definitely the man sitting over there. Right there. With at least 1.00 black in him. For those of you guys wondering, I am black saying this. I wanted this guy to be, like, a fucking asshole. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I threw a quarter at him, would that cause his mole to fall off? Hmm. I wonder if I threw a quarter at his head, would that cause his mole to fall off? Larry, why didn't you tell the tr truth? I, I can't defend you. I can't defend you against a testimony like this. Oh, can I throw a quarter at your head? I mean, apparently, <clears throat> why wasn't the phone, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, you've kind of flubbed your lines, but I'll got, I got your back. At the time, the vic, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Oh, aren't phones supposed to work during blackouts? Yes, Your Honor, but the woman chose really, really low-res apartments in this day and age. She chose it for the cheap. The rent was literally one cent. So, <laughs> they have corded phones or something along those lines, so they go out when the blackouts happen. She must have thought it would be rare. And she didn't think she would get murdered. No one ever does. And see what happens. Get murdered in your own home. However, some <clears throat> cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Chate is use used was one of those, Your Honor. I have the record of the blackout for you, personally. You see this? I'm not complaining about the shit being on my face, because I can't see most of the time. Because my glasses are pushed up too too high. Legitly. I'm partially blind. Wait, how did you drive here? Don't ask. Also, if you see a bunch of run-over school children, send them my condolences. I'm wanted in several fucking states. I'm not supposed to have told you this, but... I, I deserve to be sent to the cubes, personally. Hmm, now, Mr. Wright. Y yes Your Honor! I, I have fried chicken for you, Your Honor, you, you, just like you asked. Hmm, you may begin your cross-examination, and I will enjoy this fried chicken. Thank, th thank you, Your Honor, but cross-examination, Your Honor? Right. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Um, I... 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 Why are you... Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. What? Lies? He's lying? He was lying? No one lies anymore. Not ever since we made it illegal. I know, right? But you have to expose him. Lying is illegal. He'll get sent to the queue for 30 eons for that. Then, that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? <laughs> how, how do I prove he's not? You hold the key evidence. You hold the key and the evidence. Get it? See what I did there? 
composed the witness's testimony to the evidence, compare the witness testimony to the evidence at hand, there's bound to be a correlation in there, a connection in there. First, you find connections between the court case and the witness testimony. Then you find any fucking discrepancies between the evidence at hand. Present it and rub it in his face like a cat that just shat on the rug. Um, okay, but it seems like your voice is changing rapidly and I don't know how to fix that. Do I look like I give a shit? Press tap, bitch, before I bitch slap you. Hmm. Oh, are we doing this again? I was selling blah 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 door to door. Hold it. I need to stop you right there. Uh, I can tell that you're fucking lying, but I'm going to ask you again regardless while I literally rub my chin with my big massive man hands. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common occurrence? A common sight? I mean, I find it odd you would take notice of him. Um, well... <laughs> I didn't know he... You know, I didn't know. He just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like, he he was mad, and yet frightened at the same time. Wait. Sir, what mood are you in? Mad and frightened at the same time, why are you ask? Um, just like a, 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 cri a criminal feeling. You know, the scene of a crime. That is bullshit, and you know it! The defendant requests that the witness refrains from accusations of course what the witness means is just the man he saw looked suspicious and also apparently he wrote the word need to find a black man a big black man or someone of criminal descent that looks criminal this guy will do this guy will do Larry Butts, I know he's a fucking criminal. He probably is. He probably sells drugs or something. Blah blah blah. I'll get away with murder. I'll get away with murder. He wrote that on a napkin. Uh, what did you mean by that? Um, nothing. It's just a joke. So, what happened next? I thought to be in a hurry. I thought he'd be. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left. The door half open between him and he left the door open behind him, and that's kind of peculiar, except when you're eating Chipotle. All day, half open, you say? Yes, yes. The door was half open. Yes, why? Doorway half open. I watched for a moment, but no one came. No one came to close it. Quite peculiar. Yes, that's odd in a big city like this one. I thought. I see. And what happened next? Right, I swear to God, if you keep doing this, you used to do the same shit to me in college. Please, right. Please, right. I just want to go home to my family. Why is everyone being quiet? You don't have a family. I, okay, okay. I meant to say my TV dinner at home, okay? I want to just get my sorry day over with, right? Hold it! No, please, right. Please. What gave you the idea to do that. Well, the door was half open, I, you see. Isn't it only human nature to want to peek? We climb mountains because they are there. It's the same thing. Truer words have never been spoken, brother. Anyone would have peeked inside. I'm literally disappointed that I didn't have a drive-by peek when I went past work. I kind of wanted to peek in that place myself. Why is Mr. Peeny Weenie cutting him off so quickly? So, we're going to go on to the next topic now. <laughs> you looked into the apartment. What did you... What, what happened then? Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, d dead. That's the general description, like I said before. Wait, you're making me repeat myself again. Are you sure she was dead? She could have just been, you know, gotten 
got, gotten a little bit too festive with some uh, huh, of the forbidden lettuce. It didn't smell like wheat in there. But, well, no, I, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and then there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone, except if you knew that she loved tomato soup, like Larry did. Well, very well then, what happened next? I quaked in fear, unable to go inside. Hold it yet again! So, you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Are you absolutely sure about that? Um, no, I mean... Um, yes, I mean no, I mean nothing! Okay, then, what happened next? I thought to call the police immediately. <laughs> you thought to call the police immediately? You thought to call the police? Does that mean that you actually didn't call them? And you're just fucking around? Um, please, list, listen to the rest of the testimony. I can't take this jerking of the camera over and over again, please. You thought to call the police. What happened next? I hope you guys appreciate these voices, because they are not easy on old vocal cords. However, the police in her... Uh... Oh, the phone in her... in her apartment wasn't working. The phone in her apartment wasn't working, you say? Yes, I mean, no, it wasn't right. But you literally just fucking said that you didn't... that, that you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, um, uh, 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 Penny, would you help me here? Uh, oh. I, I, I have these cue cards. Hang on. Okay, okay. I can explain. I can explain. I can explain. Let me look for it. Let me look for it. Let me look for it. Mm, yes. Ah, yes, I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entryway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. And that wasn't working. That wasn't working, correct? Your Honor, he's leading the witness. Um, no, I'm not. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Most importantly, because I'm very bored here. What happened next? Also, why are you slowly sound like Obama? Because I want to. Obama fused with Bane. I went to the nearby park and called and found a public phone like the poor use. Why use a public phone, per se? I just wanted to know. Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. And bringing, being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartment. Ah, right, right. What time did you call it again? What time did you call again? I remember exactly. It was 1 p.m. at the dogs. And I took a hot shit at 1 p.m. I always remember where I shit. So you shit at 1 p.m. Was it in the apartment or not? Are you certain it was 1 p.m.? Yes, absolutely, without a doubt. He seems really confident. I wish I had confidence like that to ask the boss out on a date. <clears throat> right, are you thinking about dating me? But, n never mind. 1 p.m.? Does that sound right to you? Right? Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to convict him. To convict him. Okay. Uh, you claim it was that time. Uh, I personally do not believe you. Time of death. Let's see. Present. Mm. You found the body at 1 p.m.? You're sure? 
Yes, it was exactly 1 p.m. for certain. Free freaky. I just find that hard to believe. Your statement, your statement detracts from the autopsy report. The autopsy noted the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. So you are lying. There was nobody to, uh, n nobody to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain that? How do you explain the three hour gap? <laughs> What, what, what is this feeling? It's like something is hitting me. Uh, mm, oh, um, uh, mm. Objection! This is... This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. No. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. I had to sit through that multiple times, just so you know. I find it very hard to believe. Mr. Shite. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, um, uh, that, that's really, that's a really good question. Isn't it, Mr. Peenyweeny? Right. Great, w great job. Right. Why, way to point, way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the discrepancies. Lies always bring more lies. See through them, and their whole story falls apart right before you. Wait! I remember now! Would, would you care to give your testimony again? I'm going to give this testimony as many times as it, as it takes, motherfuckers. You see, you, you see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the, the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video or some or some taped programming. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry for the inconvenience and misunderstanding, you see. Hmm. I see. You're lying your ass off, aren't you? But you heard a voice saying that the t the, the, the time on the, the time on a taped program? Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Right. You know what to do. I got this one. In the bag. You're going to reveal all your lies! My stand, sheer notorious victory will take you out! Wait. Wait, you have a stand? I have a stand too, maybe we can be friends. Not on your fucking life. You see, I found the body. said, heard, not saw. Yes, I heard. Yes, heard. All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at anything else. Let's at least all of my watch. I didn't look at anything else. At least all of it my what? I, I can't fucking... I, I can't fucking... I'm sorry. Hmm. That's a little strange. So, you... S so, you're saying you heard something? But if you were shocked, if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't have heard anything at all! Objection! The witness didn't say he actually heard the time. It's... an hallucination to suggest... It's, it's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't have heard anything. He wouldn't have heard anything. Hmm. I have to agree with the prosecution on this one. Witness, continue your testimony.
Wait, did you just say you saw something on the TV? Um, that's a big lie right there. OBJECTION! POINTING FINGER OF FICKLE FATE AT YOU! HOLD IT RIGHT THERE! I have information from my stand. The prosecution has said, with his own two crusty lips, Hey, they're not that crusty, are they? They're pretty crusty. <laughs> Why didn't no one tell me this before? It's obvious. Every part of you is crusty. There, there was a blackout. There, there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <laughs> you really fucking hate me, don't you? You couldn't have heard any- You couldn't have heard a television or a video! Wait! Why is my hair coming off? What, what, what are you doing to me? I will kick- It appears the guilt is setting in. Right stand has found him guilty. The defendant has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Chate? <laughs> no! I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite- <laughs> no, wait! Something's hitting me! I can't even see it! So you don't have a stand! Wait, uh, I remember now! Mr. Shitty, the court would prefer you to hear... Would prefer to hear the... <clears throat> ac the, the correct... The accurate testimony from the very beginning. These connections are harming your credibility. That, uh, and, and you see, seem rather dis- That and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my, my apologies, Your Honor. <laughs> it just seems like something's hitting me, and, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Shitting. Let's hear your testimony one more time. Before I throw you in the cubes of pain. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Uh, <laughs> there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't it? Wasn't there? Yes, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Bro, you're not even hiding. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defendant may cross-examine. Gladly, Your Honor. I'm throwing this fucker away. I'm hitting you with the full power of my stand! Notorious victory! Actually, I saw it. That's shocking. That shocks me. As a very... That strikes me as very suspicious. That's a very suspicious mistake. Yes, I can... I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I'm very sorry. I am I only just remembered that... T table clock. A table clock? Clock in the apartment. The clock in the apartment! There was definitely a clock! A clock, you say? Was there a clock at the scene? This is the first time I've heard of it. Yes, the murder, the, the murder weapon. Ah, you mean this murder weapon? Objection! Wait, just a moment. Fuck you. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now, how is that supposed to be a clock? Explain that to me right now. <laughs> Shit, you object! Your accusations mean nothing! You are evi- Where's your evidence? Just who do you think you are? Ah, I see the truth comes out! You are just a Yorker like me! Just answer the question, Mr. Shitty! Hey, you! I saw! I saw it there! I saw the fucking clock there! Ah, uh, I didn't even know you had a York accent. Uh, Your Honor, if I may? Yes, Mr. Peachley. As the statue, as the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch, you see. You just 
tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it would, as it doesn't look like a clock, I, I miss you would you would understand the misunderstanding. It's a, it's a statue. My apology. I mistook it as a statue. <laughs> Sorry for calling you all Philistines. A clock statue, I see. Wait, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Please tell me this isn't gonna be the evidence for all the cases. Oh, okay, I won't tell you. Oh, fuck. So the murder, so the murderer, the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, right. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have a, any problem with his testimony? Well, yes, I do. Your Honor, there is there's still a gaping hole as gaping as the witness's mother! <laughs> In his testimony, the only way he could have known it was a weapon... The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is if he held it in his hands. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Thereby, he's lying his ass off clearly for all to see. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. He went into the apartment. He's lying. You're a lying sack of shit. You lying piece of fucking shit! I'll bitch slap you and molly whop you from here to Timbukti! You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! <laughs> Wait! You bastard! How dare you! You're doing something to me, aren't you? Oh yeah? Prove it! Prove that I was in there! Prove it, bitch! That's exactly what I intend to do! You'll do better than- you'll have to do better than that! I can prove you were the one who killed her! You smacked her with the clock, and you str- And you shook- And the shook- Shake of the blow triggered the clock's voice! That was the sound of- That was the sound you heard! Silence, you cur! Right, it seems that you are really getting into this court case. In order to- In- In- Order, order the court. Interesting. <clears throat> Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor, I intend to do just that. Also, I cannot believe that this video is almost 60 minutes. Mr. Shite! The sound you must have... The sound that must have left you quite... Must have left quite an impression on you. An impression indeed. Unmistakably, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. The voice was burned into your mind. The exact same image that it left on you was the image of guilt! That's why you were so certain about the time. Objection! Uh, what, 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 what's the meaning of this? Uh, this is all because... This is all... Burns and forgery! This is... This is conjecture! Conjecture! <laughs> Business? Forgery? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> would you, would the witness care to object? Interject? Would you strike, did you strike the victim with the clock? Yay or nay? I, 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 <laughs> I, that day, I, I never, your Honor, my stand is in effect! I... I... I, I look! The clock! The clock! Mm, ah! You see? I have taken the witness's hair as evidence! I fucking hate you! It was... it was him! I tell you, it was him! I saw him! It was him! That guy over there! It was him! He killed her! He did it! He killed her, and he should burn in hell! He should burn! Give him death! Order. Order in the court. <clears throat> order. Order in the damn court, I said, before I slap you over the head with my gaffle. Your, your honor, a moment, if you please. 
isn't there a, sh a shed of evidence? There isn't a shed of evidence supporting the defendant's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness. You claim you, you claim the sound the witness heard from the clock. Do you have any evidence of this? The whole the whole case is riding on on this. I better think of something quick, or else we'll both be sent to the cubes. Your, your, your Honor, the sound Mr. Shitty heard was definitely this clock. In fact, which... A fact which is clear if you simply examine clocks, batteries, ask a neighbor, just try the clock. Let's let the sound of justice ring out! Now, here, in this courtroom! Your Honor, may I have that clock? I asked, I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's 8.25. Th that's certainly strange! Why? That's a certain strange day, strange way to announce the time! Well, he said, well, he is the thinker, after all, which I doubt the witness does at all. <laughs> so, we heard the clock. So we heard the clock. What are you saying, Mr. Wright? Mr. Peeny, Mr. Peeny Weeny, you could tell, can, could you tell me what time it is right now? Uh, it's 11.25, why? <laughs> oh no, he knows! Hmm, that's strange. As you could see, this clock is exact three hours slow. Perhaps the description, the discrepancy between what Mr. Shitty heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Shitty, try to talk your way out of this one, bitch! <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh oh, what the fuck? Did, what the fuck is he talking about? Why did I forget? While it seems, while it seems your clock is running three hours slow, it. It's probably nothing. It proves nothing. <laughs> How do you know it was running slow? It was running three hours slow on the day of the murder. If you can prove, if you can't prove that, you don't have fucking anything. <laughs> He's right. How am I to prove? How am I gonna prove that shit? Damn it! I was so close, Mr. Wright. Are you okay? It seems the crack sound is kicking in again. It seems you you lack the evidence to prove to support your claims. <clears throat> yeah, yes, Your Honor. That that means I cannot let you intact the witness. I cannot let you antagonize the witness, unfortunately. This ends the cross examination, Mr. Freak Shinny. I came all this, I came all the way down here to testify, and look what happened. I get attacked by a stand, argued with constantly, and get told that I'm the one at fault. You treat me like a criminal, a criminal. You lawyers are all slime. I almost had him. Damn it. Sorry, Larry, I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Shite. Not so fast, Mr. Shite. Ma Mia, I, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like that. Think. But, but, Chief, it's all over. I fucked up. I had them all eating out of the palm of my hand, but when the food ran out and my ideas ran dry, I have nothing left. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. They 
think. Try thinking out of the box. Don't let the box drag you down, brother. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Don't waste time distributing the facts. Assume the clock, assuming the clock was three hours slow, and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure that, figure out the reason, and you'll have the proof you need to throw that bastard down, down six ways to throw him. Right, right. You can think of a reason as why, can you think of a reason as why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes! I can! Wait! Maybe I can prove it. You must, you, you must have evidence somewhere that can prove it right. Find it and let them have it! Well, well right, well, Mr. Wright. You say the clock was already running slow on that day, on the day of the murder? Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course, Your Honor! There is a piece of evidence in the court records that can prove my claims beyond a shadow of a doubt! <laughs> Tough words! Let's see you prove- Let's- let's see. Pull this off! Let's see, pull this off. You don't even know who the fuck I am. <laughs> you don't remember me? I was also from grade school. I was the one that always supplied you the paint chips that you ate so much. <laughs> Shitty butt? No! Don't you ever call me that again, bastard! Let's see the evidence. Passport. Naturally, her clock would be off by some time because she she was in France. It's three hours behind. <clears throat> the victim just had returned from. The victim had just returned home. A from abroad the day. The victim would just return home from abroad the day. The day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference. The time differentiates between here and Paris. It's nine hours. The time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 p.m. It's 1 a.m. the next the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. The victim had rest, had reset her clock, hadn't reset her clock since returning home. And that's why the, and that was the time you heard when you struck her dead in her own apartment. In her own apartment, what's wrong? Did I strike a nerve? Prove enough. Proof. Enough proof for you, Mr. Freak, Mr. Shitty Butt, hmm? or should I say, Mr. Did It? It was a black man. I stand. I see you used your enemy stand on your your enemy stand on him. Did you? Did you not? But order in the court. Order, I say. That is the power of my enemy stand. Well, this court case did have multiple twists and turns. It feels like I've been here for an hour and 80 plus minutes. And 8 plus minutes. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Peeny Weenie, your witness? <clears throat> he uh, has been a was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Good. I don't wish to see him again. Did you take his cheap toupee already? No, Your Honor. I'm keeping him. Why? I wish to have hair again. Very, very well. I'll keep it. Mr. Wright. Y yes Your Honor. I'd say, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a trial so quickly and find the true, the true culprit at the same time. Th thank you, Your Honor. You'll be paid one billion dollars for this and you won't have to be sent to the cubes. And neither will your friend. 
at this point, this man will be sent to the cube, the Mr. Shitty will be sent to the cubes for 30 billion years, and each, and each part of his limbs will be se separated. He will no longer be able to even scratch his shitty butt, as you put it. Only a... A militant butt. Only a millisecond butt. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Butt, Mr. Larry Bartholomew Butts, not guilty. You hear that, Larry? You're not guilty. You get to be outside, Larry. And with that, this court is adjourned. Guys, I can't believe I did that whole thing. It turns out that Mr. F Freak Shit was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when some people were out of out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he saw, after he left, he Mr. Shitty Freak let himself in to do this, to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Frustrated, Mr. Shitty Freak grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. And murdered Miss Cindy Stone in cold blood. Well, this will be the end of this live dub, guys. Solo live dub. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys later. This is an hour and 11 minutes. I'm going to just post it as is. No editing. Maybe. I don't know.